Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading for the 16th to the 22nd of, Des of September 2024. This is going to be a general reading, so please allow your own intuition and your own powers of discernment to determine what is resonating for you and what isn't, okay? Um, and um, yeah, let's just call in the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Light Beings and our Spirit Guides to help us with this reading. Uh, it would be most appreciated. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, Aquarius, I'm going to grab a couple of cards for you now for the center of your reading. I usually go through them all individually, all the cards, and then we will um, look at the reading as a whole. Okay. Wow, the star. So at the moment, you're healing from something, you're coming into a greater alignment with your higher self and having a sort of a sense of perhaps what your path is. Um, and yeah. Let's see what energy is crossing this at the moment. And you have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is can be a card of you know self-reflection, consolidation, um, and perhaps you know taking down, paying attention to some of the details, just really taking your time to perhaps even you know sink into these healing energies or taking your time to allow those energies to filter through. Allowing the higher frequencies time to um, do their work through you, okay? Uh, and yeah, this is a beautiful slow moving energy. So it could even just be, you know, that perhaps it could even be that there are things that are sort of you, that you feel are slowing you down metaphorically or sort of perhaps blocking you from moving forward with something. But I think these two energies are more, it feels like they're more working together. Um, that, you know, it's a simultaneous slowing down and a focusing inward on what's going to bring you more fulfillment, okay? Just a quick shuffle and then we'll deal the rest of the cards uh, and I'll have a quick look individually as well at uh, the cards. Wow, Queen of Pentacles, she has appeared in almost every reading. So this underlying is to do with your healing once again. So you're definitely coming into alignment. It's looking like, you know, your higher self and your, you know, your everyday egoic self um, is sort of coming into more alignment. You're open to being more receptive to that aspect of yourself, the higher self, which is awesome. Wow. And the sun, really positive, joyful, abundant. You know, this is sort of like a successful energy sort of coming from the past. So, you know, it could be that... Um, you've done a lot of healing work or you've done a lot of inner work in the past and it could be that you're starting to feel the real benefits of that, okay? And what's likely to unfold is that, yeah, this is kind of a playful, a little bit of a dramatic kind of um, energy, but not in a bad way. It's just um, perhaps you're feeling a little more um, extroverted or a little more kind of wanting to be out there um, doing things, but you're also juggling you're also being flexible and what you're juggling could actually be you know you're healing with your um, practical life so you're integrating those things and or maybe you're bringing them together in some way and in your opportunity you have the chariot which is fantastic as well moving forward it's like you're preparing here for a journey um, you know there's the hippocampus here you're sort of strapping it up and putting the saddle on and uh, yeah and often this can represent an energy of um, that it's going to be a journey that will take you not always necessarily where you want to go but it might be about also where you need to go so there might be some lessons or some I guess strengthening things coming up for you maybe there'll be a bit of some challenges along the way as well but it's also to do with you know um, fulfilling your desires um, and your wishes for the life that you want, okay? Um, which is definitely in line with this healing idea, isn't it? Sort of like you're moving forward almost in a new way now. Um, current energy, you could be still feeling a little bit restricted or maybe there's some inner resistance. There could be some things within you that are um, Aquarius that are perhaps just a few little extra... Yeah, defense mechanisms or things or obstacles or blocks that could be holding you back a little bit. You probably know what they are, given the amount of positive momentum and the all of you know the light surrounding all of this healing that's going on. I think you have a sense of of what 
uh, those restrictions are. Um, but here you have the moon as well. So um, it's looking like you're going to be going deeper. This is in your environment or it could be uh, even like a spirit guide, someone around you that is assisting you. You could f uh, feel kind of like an urge or a general motion to look deeper within yourself to address these um, perhaps their self-limiting beliefs okay so it could be that in actual fact you're a lot more capable of things than you believe yourself to be that could be one example um, so this is about you going deeper to really address all of that I've just noticed here there is musical notes too so music sound or even singing or dancing doing things with music could be um, helpful for you Aquarius to help sort of shift that frequency if that's you know that could be part of the um, healing process and letting go of lower vibe um, you know energies that are no longer serving you and here we have your goal is the clarity this is your personal truth okay which is fantastic and the final sword uh, final card is the four of wands very stable successful energy this can also be you know cause for celebration and um, energy of celebration like yeah you've reached a milestone here with something and that you've come to a really nice place of stability and fulfillment okay so Aquarius that's that's kind of the reading isn't it but let's have another quick look as well um, yeah I think in the center here you're really sort of taking some time out now to create a vision for yourself and that you're going through healing as well and that because of this juggling or this juggling rabbit here I, get, I have a feeling that you're you're doing really well at being able to create that vision but also allow time and space for your healing to occur within that okay um so you have a really good handle on the big picture here um because underlying this is there's so much healing going on this in this reading Aquarius so you know if you are healing from something or you are addressing perhaps some deep-seated unhelpful beliefs I mean this is probably you know what you're healing here is your own self um Perhaps you're sort of shifting your identity a little bit. Maybe you're letting go of, you know, like we've already mentioned, unhelpful beliefs. But there could be some habitual patterns of um, behaving or ways of thinking or ways of uh, or certain emotions that tend to override things that cause you to move into feelings of limitation and lack and perhaps stuckness or uh, feeling perhaps repressed or oppressed in some way. Um, so it's really about kind of, you know, coming into your alignment. So getting really getting help from source, really focusing on that source connection and working on your breath, mind, body, um, breath connection with the water here, also acknowledging your emotions, doing some work on your subconscious as well. So that could be doing a journal, okay, doing a dream journal. I don't know about you, um, but I've just recently... I've been having a lot more vivid dreams and I'm still not writing them down and I need to because I think it's going to help um, help me with, with a couple of things. So, you know, that could be working, you know, with the subconscious. Uh, yeah, is a good, you know, working with dreams is a great way to work with the subconscious. You know, you record your dreams over a month or two and then just sort of do a meditation with all your writing where you just kind of sit down and you're going through them, maybe you're highlighting things, maybe there are commonalities, maybe there are differences, or there might be certain themes throughout all of your dreams that are fairly common. And that might sort of give you some clues as to um, what you might be wanting to work on or address within yourself, um, or even perhaps a direction that you're going to move in with regard to this journey here. Okay, if you feel like you're wanting to go on some sort of journey, maybe that will give you some clues. Okay, some deep work there. You have a lot of beautiful positivity here, um, Aquarius. This beautiful sun, source light, you know. So I think this is going to be really helpful for you. If you can maybe go out in the sunlight, 
um, do nature walks outside in your meditations think about source think about even high frequency beings like ascended masters um, archangels uh, even light beings perhaps different galactic collectives that you'd feel like you would like to tune into i mean there's a whole range to choose from, choose from there for example you have the pleiadians the syrians the um, arcturians the andromedans um, you know there's lyrans uh, yeah there's lots lots more as well okay um, and also like lemurian if you feel resonant with the lemurian collective or the atlantean you know they're both they're um, ancient earth civilizations but they were generally made up from the um galactic collectives that sort of came down to sort of settle on the earth for a while so if any of those um collectives sort of resonate with you maybe meditate on that too um you know because oftentimes we actually have because we're multidimensional, we can have other aspects of ourselves that are reside within these collectives, or it could be that there are um, there's an overriding higher self, and it could be that we can tap into other beings that have the same higher self as as we do. Okay, and it could be that they're from earthly collectives or galactic collectives. Okay, um, so yeah, looking at your deep healing here, Aquarius. And, I mean, you're going to be getting some clarity here, okay? You're going to be acting in alignments with your personal truth. Um, but I feel like you are going on, you will be embarking on a journey. It might be an inner journey, okay? Which is certainly what is suggested by the moon card here. And certainly if you're dealing with some sense of restriction, usually if we're in this energy, um, we don't feel like we can kind of go anywhere. But that might, you know, if that resonates... But it might be you could even in this you can still do work okay you can still do lots of inner work e.g recording your dreams etc um, because many of us deal with this all the time you know we all have um, different amounts of this okay and it could even be Aquarius that this is just it almost feels like it's the last few things that you're going to shift um, you know with regard to your healing okay and stepping up in frequency and you know really being in, in your personal truth and your authenticity here um you know your holistic self you know spiritually emotionally um, mentally physically you know being you know it all coming together um as one and here you are you know being really um unified this could even be your divine masculine and divine feminine here so maybe you're bringing those aspects of yourself together okay um yeah and um yeah, you might like to look into Carl Jung's um, theories on the subconscious with regard to the, um, I'm trying to think what they're called now, the anima and the animus. So that idea is that within our subconscious, we all have the opposite aspect. So for example, if I'm mostly female in my being, then I would have an animus, which is a male um aspect to my subconscious and generally the way of healing is that the anima and the animus come into better balance or if you were a male uh, then you would have the opposite which is the female anima um, feminine aspect within your psyche that needs to that may need to come into balance in order for you to reach your full potential okay Carl Jung was also on about self-realization which is to do with us you know obviously reaching our full potential but I also like to think that that's has to do with our ascension as well as we ascend we are stepping more into our full potential we are expanding our consciousness we are coming into a greater understanding of our soul of our feminine and masculine aspects and how we can integrate them and activate them in a more powerful balanced way okay so that ultimately we're more happy and fulfilled and i mean you know aquarius you've got these cards here uh this is happiness and fulfillment here okay so um that's what i have for you aquarius let's look at the bottom of the deck i almost forgot and yeah awakening perfect this is the judgment card uh and this is like a shaman here so this is to do with healing um so if shamanic practice um kind of appeals to you maybe you'd like to look into that you can do different types of things with that as well. It might even be, you know, just listening to some drumming music and doing a meditation on the floor um, is the extent of your shamanic work. I did do that a while back and it was really awesome. 
So, you know, awakening, taking some time out. Um, you have all the skills, you have the abilities here, and Aquarius, and you have, you know, you're preparing here. You're preparing for a journey, whatever that may be. So this is really exciting for you, Aquarius. That's what I have for you today, and I hope that's been helpful. And, uh, yeah, in the meantime, I do, oh, well, I look forward to our next reading. In the meantime, have a great day and awesome week, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.